In today's health alert, warmer winter weather paving the way for a rough tick season ahead. It's important for you to be aware of the potential diseases they can carry. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthen Andy, is here now with advice on identifying ticks and removing them safely. And Dr. Nandy, hello to you. And how serious are tick-borne diseases? Well, it's great to see you, Simon. I haven't worked with you in a long time, but uh, important question there. Unfortunately, tick-borne diseases are on the rise, and over 90 species right, of ticks live in the U.S. That's a lot. More than 20 of them can be found in Michigan. Now, the top five most common ticks in our state, according to 2023 data, the American dog tick, which accounted for 70% of ticks sub submitted by residents, followed by the black-legged tick at 20%, the lone star tick at 5%, the woodchuck tick at 3%, and the brown dog tick at 1%. I don't know who comes up with these names, but they're great. And all of these ticks potentially carry diseases like Rocky Mountain spotted fever, anaplasmosis, and tularemia, all of which can be life-threatening if not treated. There's also the Powassan virus, which can, you know, which can cause a brain infection called encephalitis. However, these are all considered rare uh, Simon, the most common tick-borne disease here we see is Lyme disease, which can be transmitted by the black-legged tick. And symptoms that folks can experience include fever, rash, you can even have facial paralysis and arthritis. If left untreated, Lyme disease can spread to joints, the heart, and the nervous system. It can be a problem. These are serious conditions. What do ticks look like and how can we remove them safely if bitten? Well, yeah, so ticks, they, they go through three life stages the larval, the nymph, and the adult. So the, the larvae have six legs, while nymphs and adults have eight legs. They're usually oval-shaped with no wings and relatively small in size. Simon, their color can range from brown to reddish, uh, brown or black. And after feeding, they can get bigger and may look darker or even grayish blue. It's important. Now, ticks love moist areas, right? So after being in areas where ticks are active, you need to do a whole body check once indoors. Be sure to check under the arms, around the ears, and inside the belly button even. If you find a tick, use those tweezers, grab it as close to the skin as possible. Pull it straight out, then cleanse the skin with rubbing alcohol or, or just soap and water. Now, of course, a lot of people don't feel tick bites or even notice them as they can be the size of a sesame seed, so kind of small. So watch for a bull's eye shaped rash, which could indicate a bite. Keep an eye out for symptoms for up to 30 days. And if any develop, see your family doctor right away. Because early treatment with antibiotics, Simon, can reduce the risk of serious complications. So to help prevent tick bites, consider also using insect repellent that contains 20% or more DEET, Picardin, or IR3535. Please wear pants, socks, and shoes treated with permethrin and avoid grassy, bushy, wooded areas. That all helps. So, so it's going to get warmer, so it's important to talk about this and think about and, and try to prevent it. So important to stay informed. Thank you, doctor. And if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.